Did you know that your nose and your lungs are connected when it comes to asthma? In this video, we're talking about how nasal polyps and asthma are linked and why it matters for keeping your asthma under control. Hi, I'm Nicole Palacio, immunologist and part of the research and development team here at Amgen. So what are nasal polyps? Nasal polyps are soft growths that form inside your nose or in the spaces around your nose called sinuses. They're not necessarily cancerous and usually not painful, but they can impact your daily life by causing nasal congestion and stuffiness, affect your breathing, your ability to smell and taste, and disrupt your sleep. If you have asthma, you might be at a higher risk of developing these polyps. In fact, about one in six adults with moderate to severe asthma also have nasal polyps, and nearly half of people with moderate to severe nasal polyps also have asthma, which can make breathing and daily activities difficult. So, trouble in your nose might also mean trouble in your lungs and vice versa. This connection between the upper airway, which includes your nose and sinuses, and your lower airway, which includes your windpipe and your lungs, is the foundation of the unified airway concept. The idea is that your airways are connected when one part of the airway, such as the sinuses, is inflamed or blocked, it can affect the rest of the airway, including the lungs. So, nasal polyps can worsen asthma symptoms by adding to the inflammation already present in the airways, causing sinus congestion, restricted airflow, and making asthma harder to control. If you have asthma and also suffer from symptoms like nasal congestion, sinus pressure, or a reduced sense of smell, it's important to talk to your doctor. Managing both asthma and nasal polyps together can lead to fewer flare-ups, better breathing, and more control. And remember, the key to better asthma control is working with your healthcare team, which could include your primary care physician, an allergist, ear, nose, and throat specialist, or pulmonologist to develop a comprehensive treatment plan.